What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're checking out the new Pico OS installer and let's get right to it. So we're gonna we're gonna select US as our locale. We're gonna hit next, it's gonna take a couple seconds. We're gonna agree to their license agreement, which honestly should be filled out a little bit more because this is just, there's so much wasted space. Uh, we have to go back, sorry. How uh, we need to set our time and boom halifax now english keyboard correct please be 60 69 gigs i said 65 gigs you son of a bitch okay whatever whatever we're moving on all right so this is what we got language check halifax check yes 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 all of this is looking good except for this why is there a separate home partition? You need to give me an option to not want a separate home partition because that's annoying. I don't want that. So instead of confirming, we're going back, back, back again, back again, forward again, forward again, forward again. And we're going to manually partition this guy. Yep. All right. Um, use this utility. Authenticate. So how do we do this? I guess this is probably a good thing for you to do. So we're going to click here, partition. Uh, we're going to create a partition table. It's going to be GPT. We're going to hit apply. First thing's done. Okay. Next, your boot needs to be at least a thousand megabytes or more. I don't know why it's EXT. Bit weird that that's a thing, but let's do that now. All right. So we're going to set this to 1000 and we are going to call this well is it the partition name boot and yeah ext4 label boot add so now we have a boot drive the next thing we need to add is a well an f32 partition name um 512 huh okay 512 I don't know what they're expecting me to do with this, but we'll make this work, okay? I don't really like this installer very much. It's not... Not the, the installer, I don't like gparted while doing this very much. Um, slash boot slash EFI. Is that... Can we do that? We can do that. So did I do this wrong? I think I did this wrong. We're going to delete this and we're going to remake this. So slash boot. EXT thousand megabytes add. Next one we need is our. Well, yeah. We're just going to put that like that. You can choose EXT or ButterFS and it says to use ButterFS. But honestly, why are you doing this? Give us more options. We don't all want to use ButterFS. Some of us don't like it. No, we did not. I'm going to hit apply and close. Great. Now does this work? All right, let's try again. Ready? Slash boot slash EFI. Okay. Add one. We're going to select you slash boot. Good. Select another one. And I'm thinking this is an error on my side. Ah, yes, there we go. All right. Confirm and install Pico OS. There we go. We're done. Yay. Do, 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 do. All right, I know I'm getting a little overexcited. What the hell does this even say? Waiting? Give me a sec. Writing image to target. If that was any smaller, I would need to hire an ant to um, tell me what it says. I'm going to capture this. And I'm going to copy. All right. Well, 
the installer has finished. Let's see if it reboots into the OS. My God, it's a micro sized cursor. Do you see that? I don't even know if you can see that. That was so small. All right, let's boot this thing up. Gotta hope for the best. You can do it. Put your best foot forward and just do it. Oh, worked. Did it? There we go. Boot from next volume. Boot manager. Refined. There it is. I think it's this one. From slash boot. Yes, it is. All right. There's the Tino core. So we did do the partitions properly. And um, as you can see, currently it's a small window, but we'll fix that. There is no 1440p. So the one I've been using is this one. That makes it look full screen for you. Then good. Let's start. No, I don't want to. Username. Matt. That's me. Hostname. Arch is... God damn it. Arch is better. Password. Password again. Next. System updates. Go ahead. Update. It's a pretty cool. I like this little thing going on right here. Uh, it's going to update everything it needs to. Kernel, applications, stuff like that. Next. Um, sure, let's take a look at this. Ooh, that's a good driver. That's a good driver. I'm kidding. Uh, the newest one's not here, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's pretty cool nonetheless. Media Codex. Do install them. Yeah. I've been having fun doing these videos nonstop. There's always something new to do. Like, there are current pull requests for the new modder VRR that I want to pull down and compile and test, and I'm probably going to be doing that after this to see if it fixes the one bug that I had. Yeah, um, where the whole GNOME session would crash when I opened and did something like download something in Firefox or use the hamburger menu. That was a VRR issue, but I'm not sure if it's the way I've compiled something. I, I don't know how to check, but I'll figure it out eventually. Goatig installation is still going. Yay. All right, media codecs are installed. We're going to hit next. There's a meta package for gaming. So this is Steam, Lutris, and everything you need for gaming. I'm going to skip this as I'm in a VM and I don't need it. And the, instabla the installation is complete and it asks us, of course, to reboot. Now, before we actually go into the OS, what I want to do is I want to go and get rid of the O. Oh, uh, you need to go away. Wait, 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 for shutdown. References. Where is it? Does it have 3D acceleration? Is it here? Doesn't. I have to just deal with the low resolution for now. So let's hop in and see exactly what Pico OS has. I have done a video about it in the past, but it's so old that honestly, I I don't think uh, we can take it at face value for what it is. So I'm gonna check on the kernel version, and but look at this. Okay, okay, here's here's my main problem with this login screen. I like the blur. It's nice, but the main problem is What's this down here? Yeah, look at that. Was this intentional? This is an egg This is an egg No, if you're going to have peak OS down here, it needs to have uh, a black border around it to protect it Okay, cuz this this don't look good all right, so we're in Wayland. We're going to once again. Jesus, every damn time. Every damn time. If you don't know what that was, you probably didn't hear it. You probably have the volume muted, but it's not really. Ah, oh, my eyes. Flashbang. So yeah, a whole bunch of cool stuff in here that you can install. Troubleshooting, layouts. Uh, there's 11 gnome to gnome traditional there's pineapple there we go honestly pineapple should have arc menu but it doesn't all right let's check the kernel version 6.6.6 .6 .6. how scary 
why is it 6.6.6? Like, 6.6.9 was a horrible kernel. And 6.7.4, 6.7.6 is a great kernel. Mm, I don't like that. That bugs me. All right. And this, this just, just frozen. It's VMware issues. Trust me. Let's check what's installed automatically. Bare bones. Just the way I like it. Bare bones. Wow. All right. So there you go. Uh, we've tried out the new installer. It works. It functions. That's all that matters. And uh, I also showed you how to manually partition, how to create partitions. That's pretty cool. I usually don't do that in videos because I'm the type of guy that's like, you want to keep Windows and you want to keep Linux on separate drives. It's better that way, but whatever. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video, do all the cool stuff. It really helps. And I'll see you next time.